Hey guys, this is going to be a mid-month, December 15th through the 31st reading. This is a love and guidance reading just to see where you guys are at going into the new year. This is going to be a general reading, of course, so it's not going to resonate for everyone. If you are interested in a personal reading, go to the website, select a reading, boom. We in there. All right. If you have any issues, you can email me. And um, always, if you guys like the video, hit that thumbs up button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All right. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Ooh, that's all that is. The cups there. Maybe we got some new love coming in. I like it. Ooh, love for Christmas. What is going on there? Look at the Queen of Swords just wanting to jump out. You guys got a lot to say, I do believe. Hmm. All right. One more shuffle. Ooh, and I see the Six of Cups. Hmm. Okay. Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see what we got going on today. For the 15th through the 31st, we have a page of swords. Who are you looking at? Checking somebody out. There's somebody that you're checking out. And I feel like you're a little intimidated to speak up. Because we did see the Queen of Swords falling out. The Queen of Swords does not have a problem seeing exactly what's on her mind, okay? But the Page of Swords is something different, somebody different. Um, they don't say a whole lot. They observe a whole lot first, okay? So let's see where you guys are. Ten of Cups. Look at, look at that. Look at that. All right. The challenge is the Hermit. <laughs> I, I like it when things happen like this. The Eight of Wands in the past. You have the High Priestess in your foundation. You have the King of Cups crowning you. You have the Knight of Wands in your near future. How you feel about yourself is the Seven of Swords. In the environment, we have the Eight of Cups. Your hopes and fears, we have the Knight of Cups. And in your potential outcome, we have the King of Pentacles. Okay, so just right off, I noticed that we have three core cards here, okay? All masculine energy. So right away, um, potentially, this is a same-sex relationship, okay? Or... You know, the people or the person that you're thinking about is vibing, you know, on that masculine energy with you. You guys are vibing together like that, okay? So, point that out first. Okay, so here, there is a relationship. There is a committed relationship here but I don't think that it's solidified yet you've only been thinking about this or the person that you were thinking about has only been thinking about this okay I, I feel like somebody's trying to get their stuff together before they actually approach someone okay but Leo got this card in the past position. I feel like what this is telling me is that do not wait too long to go towards a person that you are thinking about this Ten of Cups with. Actually, it's sitting like this, if you can see that. Don't wait too long to actually make a move. That is what that's telling me. Okay, because I feel like you realize, you know, in the past, this is in the past position, that you needed to come towards them. You wanted to come towards them. Cupid's arrows. You have all these feelings for this person. You guys have probably been communicating 
either you're at a distance from them and it's been like this long distance thing where you could not really get serious because you were long distance the way you felt or you guys have been communicating online for some of you but you haven't solidified it yet okay and your foundation oh wow and your foundation um this is you needing to use your intuition and needing to listen to your intuition because your intuition is nudging you it is it's tapping you like this and you're kind of looking around going what and turning back around take heed listen to your intuition okay listen to your heart because that's going to be significant for you all right What's crowning you is the King of Cups. You are in love with somebody and somebody is in love with you. There are very strong feelings here, okay? Very strong, unwavering feelings here, all right? But I'm gonna need you, or if this is the other person, somebody needs to make a move here somebody needs to lock this thing in that is what i feel this is in your future position now look i see you still having one foot in and one foot out or somebody somebody having one foot in and one foot out still not locking this thing in okay all right cancer i apologize for that my daughter scared the bejesus out of me okay so what's gonna happen is when somebody is not deciding to go ahead and lock this thing in here you come over here or somebody else but this is how you see yourself either you see yourself walking away from this thing because it's like, you know what, this person doesn't really like me or love me or, you know, want to be with me. So it's time, it's time to say deuces, you know, um, or even this is the other person feeling that way, depending on which one of you is, is not making that next step. All right. And then we actually have walking away here with the eight of cups, you know, feeling like, you know, you've gotten all the, the emotional fulfillment that you could possibly get out of this situation and this is feeling depleted like there's nothing else left all right this is in the environment okay somebody is walking away because they feel like there's nothing else that can come out of this all right but i feel like you know you just want to be happy and i think that you're going back and forth or one of you is going back and forth about whether you just want to stay single or whether you want this ten of cups single and happy together and happy Somebody's really not sure here, okay? In the near, in the possible outcome, we have the King of Pentacles. This is what's possible, okay? This is not solidified. This is not written in stone. This is somebody stepping up. This is somebody stepping up, guys. The King of Pentacles and the King of Cups together, you know, I like it. Okay? But do you like it enough to either step up? Or does the other person like it enough to step up? Because I feel like, you know, right now, whoever this King of Pentacles is, is... 
this night with no stability for real, okay? Who, whoever has got their one foot in and one foot out, the potential outcome is for them to be this king of pentacles because this knight of wands is not a bad person. I think there's just some, some fear there, okay? So Cancer, that's what I have for you for December 15th through the 31st. And um, Merry Christmas, you guys, and have a happy new year. And I'll be speaking with you soon.